Welcome back to the channel. We're in Toledo Bend. It's 2024, end of February. We may be a little bit early. We had a cold spell. They were catching a couple weeks ago. Uh, the water temps around 55, 54 in the morning, and it seems to get to 58 maybe in the afternoon. I mean, it's really close. We're going in the back of the coves. Uh, the wind is crazy this weekend. Uh, but let's put the K Fred float popper to work. If y'all interested in the float popper, you can get on my website with the jig, selling the corks too. All right, if y'all want the float popper around Toledo Bend, uh, call Toledo Tackle, tell them you want the K-Fred float popper. Also, Keats Tackle, I'll bring as many, I have tons of them, I'll bring them up here uh, and they'll stock them. Just, you need a demand for it, so y'all please call, tell them to stock it, have them call me and I'll bring them up here. All right, let's get fishing. Good one, good one.
we go. Boom. It's a good one, whatever this is. Swing him in, let's see if I... Today we're catching most of our fish. That's the A1 on the website. Uh, we're throwing the A3. It's doing real well too. We kind of just sticking with those two. Uh, we're fighting the wind. I'm back up in the cove right now to the back just so I can talk. I don't know how much I'll be able to show. I'll probably have to put music over it because the wind's so bad. The wind noise is going to be crazy. big that catfish is. Can y'all see it? It's a 
All right, guys, we're going to call it a day. I appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, take care. All right, guys, we're about to cook the fish. We're going to do something different today. We're going to blacken the fish. We had a decent trip in Toledo Bend. Caught some good ones. Not a whole bunch, but they nice fish. I wasn't invited. Kyle wasn't invited. I'm sorry. We'll go next time. But Kyle's been in a few videos. If y'all seen the turtle video, Kyle is my boy right here. thousand views. That was a good video. It did well. And Kyle was helping me cook the turtle sauce because. Well, today we're going to do the blackened socle. We're going to do some shrimp and fettuccine that's gonna be good stuff kyle's gonna help me put this together y'all stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and season the shrimp we're gonna blacken the shrimp first we're gonna season them real good with cape red all right don't be scared right here I'll zoom up on that. That looks pretty good. All right, let's get this going. We're going to put a stick and a half of butter. 
We have one onion that Cal Boudreau cut up. Look how perfect they are. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wait just a minute to put the garlic in. That garlic, you don't want the garlic to burn, so we'll, we'll get a good head start with the onion, saute these down. And we're gonna cook these till they're translucent, till they're clear. I'm cooking up right here. Look at them fry. All right, we got two heaping spoons, maybe two and a half of this garlic, minced garlic. Let's put that in. Woo, if you could smell that. All right, it's looking good. Okay, I, forget, I failed to mention we use an unsalted butter. This is an Irish butter. Come look at this, Kyle. It's starting to clear up them onions. All right, this step here, not everybody does this, but we're going to go ahead and take out the onions and the garlic. Put them in this little bowl right here. All right, we're going to use this other half a stick of butter. All right, we're gonna get the fire hot. I don't wanna spend all night out here. I'm gonna bring that fire up. We're gonna get those shrimp kind of brown and crispy. All right, look at this. All right, let's put them in. I'm gonna use my spoon for this, Kyle. Now there's going to be some water that cooks out of the shrimp. We want them to kind of brown. We want them to just kind of start sticking to the bottom of the pot. And when we deglaze it, that's going to be a lot of flavor. All right, they're starting to get a little brown to them. We're just going to let some of this water cook out of it. And it's going to start sticking to the bottom. We're gonna get a good brown little crisp on the edges. Uh, Kyle's gonna go ahead and put the uh, noodles cooking for me. I used to be an onion cutter, but now I'm a pasta boiler. That's right. You the best pasta boiler that I know, Kyle. That's what they That's see. That's what they see. Okay, Kyle put a little olive oil in there. What what that does, Kyle? Keep them from sticking. Maybe. I, I hope. Hey, I trust it. Hey, you got any Boudreaux jokes? Not really, man. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. Dude. You asked me to cook, bro. Now I gotta be a comedian. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'll give you a minute to think of a Boudreaux and Thibodeau oh, joke. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> All right, come see this, Kyle. Look how they're starting to brown. They're getting some color to them. All right, so we got them kind of crisp. We've got some little browning going on. We're going to add a little bit of water to deglaze this just to get everything off the bottom here. The thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this back in, guys. All right, we're gonna put some half and half in here. I think I'm gonna put the whole little container of this. Bring this up back to a little simmer until it starts bubbling then we're going to start adding some of this pepper jack cheese to it Kyle that looks good already look at this mm, mm -mm. we're going to start adding this pepper jack cheese Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Look how creamy this is. And with that cave red, it's gonna have a nice kick to it. You saw the shrimp all seasoned them well. We're gonna lower the heat here. We'll get that pasta cooked. We'll get Kyle to cut up some fresh parsley that I have grown by the house right here. We'll sprinkle that on top when we're ready to serve. All right, look how thick this is. I think we're gonna thin it up just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is take out a little bit of this pasta water and put it in here. Cool, that's about the right consistency right here. Look at this, super creamy. Oh my God. Look at that dirty parsley. And look, that's time. Put that on some steaks and there you go. Let's go chop that up. That's one of those Wiccan pots. I'm gonna have to do a YouTube video showing this Wiccan pot. It's self-watering. We'll do that in another video. All right, he's taking the stems off. All right, he's cutting it real fine. We're going to start blackening the fish. Again, K. Fred is really good on blackened fish. I like to put it on one side first. That's about right, right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a half a stick of butter in here. We're going to get this real hot. That may be a little bit. I might take this stick out. We don't need that much butter. That's going to be enough butter right there. All right, Cal, we're going to put the seasoned side down right here. Just do four at a time. That gives me plenty of room to flip them. And what I like to do is hit this side. Now that all right, we're gonna kind of shake the pan below the fire just a little bit right there. We're gonna let that side crispen up. only been a couple minutes with a hot fire let's see what it looks like let's flip one look at that guys okay so we did a couple minutes on this side too they're ready we'll go ahead and clean that one up Dude, look at this. Zoom up on that, how pretty. Look at that little crust on there. And look, you don't have to have a blackening season. This Cajun season is just as good or better than any other kind of blackening seasoning. All right, let's do these last couple. Same thing. He's inside down. right there if you're still hungry it's your own damn fault I got probably what 10 pounds of fillets in there fresh fresh oh never frozen ice coating oh, look at that Kyle all right Kyle's gonna go first here That 
this plate's going to grow. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to. Oh no, I gotta make it pretty. in the lake last night. Wait a minute. I think that was tilapia from the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't tilapia, Cal. Very good, Ken. I think we did it, Cal. It was pretty dang good. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Dude, the lighting's kind of bad. Okay.